Oh, here we are for another pre-trib rapture moment up here at uh, Drew's Lake in Maine, state of Maine. Absolutely beautiful here, backdrop, so I thought I'd do a video here. Question comes up, are people that believe in a post-trib rapture, are they saved? Now this thing gets put on me a lot that I teach that people who believe in a post-trib rapture are lost. Uh, that's not true. I have never taught that, nor will I ever teach that. Uh, your belief in when the rapture occurs has nothing to do with your salvation. Um, the Bible does not say that you're to believe on the preacher of rapture to be saved. It says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you can be saved and believe all kinds of stupid things and still go to heaven. All right. I've never said that, that somebody is lost simply because they believe in a post-trib rapture. And we'll talk about a certain somebody here in just a minute. But uh, there are quite a few Christians that are post trip. Um, I know uh, there's a guy down in Florida, um, Sam Adams I think his name is, and I had to go around with him through email. You know, He emailed me and, and brought up some reasons why he thought I was wrong about pre-trib rapture belief, and I emailed back and told him why he was wrong. And we went back and forth and back and forth, and uh, never got anywhere with him. You know, He was humble enough to admit at one point that I don't know the answer to that question. So I appreciate that, but uh, he's not 501c3, very much against that. He believes in repentance, you know, the true gospel there, and the gospel of repentance to salvation. Um, you know, I believe he's a saved man, stands for the King James Bible. But uh, another one would be Dr. Kent Hovind. Dr. Kent Hovind uh, was one of my uh, spiritual mentors, uh, definitely a saved man very much saved man but he's backed off on the rapture now he used to believe in a pre-trib rapture and now he backed off uh, so now he lost his salvation right no no he's a saved man I believe that Dr. Kent Hoven is a saved man he's just wrong on that area and a few others you know uh, let me say it again for the record so you hear me and understand this thing your belief in when the rapture occurs does not affect your salvation all right, it's going to affect your rewards, and it affects a whole bunch of other things, but it does not affect your salvation. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you a little clip here, just to show you uh, the main enemy of Bible-believing Christianity right now, of, of the pre-trib rapture belief system, is this little uh, novice Stephen Anderson. And he is a novice, and uh, he doesn't know the Bible very well, and uh, that's been proven in some of the other studies I've done, he's just a child. That's all he is. He's a little brat, slams his Bible, slams his fist, gets all upset, yells and screams like a little girl, you know, and uh, I have no respect for him. And mainly for something else, which I'm going to be talking about here in a minute. But I just want to show you that I don't, uh, well, let me show you the clip here of him first, what he says about pre trib rapture believers, okay? Watch this. I'm assuming that since you're watching post-trib moment number 60, you must have gone through uh, lessons 1 through 59. And I want to say to you that if you've gone through all of the other 59 and you're still believing in a pre-trib rapture, that there are one of three things that could be said about you. Number one, you're not saved because it's possible that you're not saved since the Bible makes it clear that those who are unsaved are incapable of understanding the Word of God. The Bible says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for their foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they're spiritually discerned. And so if you're unable to hear God's Word, the Bible says that uh, my sheep hear my voice. And the Bible teaches that uh, the righteous shall understand, but none of the wicked shall understand, it says in Daniel chapter 12. And so that's one possibility of why you're still pre-trib if you're all the way to moment 60 and you've seen so many scriptures to prove that that's a false doctrine. Number two, the other reason why you might still believe in a pre-tribulation rapture is that you're just stupid. I mean, that's the other option. You, maybe you're stupid. Maybe you just are incapable of understanding basic grammar or, or basic uh, uh, sentence structure from the Word of God as it tells you that the rapture comes after the tribulation. You might just be an imbecile. And I'm not saying you are, because there's still a third option that's coming. First of all, you could have been unsaved 
And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope you get saved. Uh, number two, you may just be stupid. I mean, there are people in this world that are stupid, and they believe stupid things. Okay, I'm not saying that that's you, because you might be option number three, which is that you're stubborn. And really, I believe those are the only three options. You're either unsaved, you're stupid, or you're being stubborn. And I think probably most people watching this video fall into category number three. You're being stubborn. So there you go. There he says that there are only three explanations if you are still believing in a pre-trib rapture. Either you're lost, you're stupid, or you're stubborn. Okay? And uh, I can tell you right now that his little camp and his little followers, his little cult following that he has, they teach that I'm lost. They teach that I, you know, am a lost man because I preach salvation is repentance toward God. You come to God as a sinner, admitting that you're a sinner, and then you put your faith in Jesus Christ because you understand that you're a sinner and you can't save yourself. And that somehow is works salvation and that salvation produces a changed life. Okay, uh, that makes me lost. But um, Stephen Anderson there in that video, you saw that he said that if you believe in a pre-trib rapture, you're lost. Or stupid or stubborn. But he leans more towards people being lost. So don't go out of here saying that Brian Denlinger teaches post-trib people are lost and that that's so radical and crazy. When you defend somebody like Stephen Anderson, who actually does teach that, a pre-trib rapture believer is lost. Okay, absolutely a ridiculous standard that, that guy has. All right, but you say, well, Brian, you do have a video out there. Is Stephen Anderson really saved? And I do. And you say, well, see, you're saying that he's lost because he believes in a post-trib rapture. No, if you say that, that's because you didn't watch the video. The reason I question Stephen Anderson's salvation is not because of the post-trib thing. That's there. That's a, a major doctrinal blunder. But the reason I question his salvation is because of his hatred for the Jewish people. All right? Let me read you a little verse of Scripture here. John chapter 4, verse 22. Jesus speaking here, he says, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. You see, this book here, this King James Bible is a Jewish book. Every man in this book here that wrote anything is Jewish. All right? So you take this book here and you say, I am a Bible believer, but I hate the Jews. And the Jews are satanic. I have a problem with that. I have a big problem with that. Hey, I count it a major blessing to be able to have this salvation that's of the Jews. My Savior is a Jew, okay? The men who wrote this book are Jews. When we go to heaven, we say hallelujah. Hallelujah is Hebrew. I believe in heaven, we're going to look like Jews and we're going to be speaking Hebrew. Major problem for you if you are anti-Semitic. If you believe in replacement theology, which Stephen Anderson does, he believes that he is now you know, him and his little cult there, that they've replaced Israel. Which is kind of funny because the Bible says that there's a future rest restoration of the nation of Israel and that Jesus rules and reigns from Jerusalem, not Arizona. You know, that's why I question Stephen Anderson's salvation. His stance on the post-trib rapture is just further proof that, you know, that he's stupid. Okay, he is the one that's stupid. He is the one that's ignorant. He doesn't know the Bible. That guy, it's, I mean, just watching his preaching, I mean, it's pretty poor. It's very poor. That's why he's not pre-trib. But you see, whenever you go post-trib, it eventually leads to saying, I don't believe in the Jews. You start to attack the Jews because you see the time of Jacob's trouble, or the Great Tribulation, as many people call it, it's there for the nation of Israel. It's not there for the Gentile church, the body of Christ, okay? It's not there for us. It's there for the Jews. So you start to go post-trib, you're going to have to go against the Jewish people. And if you believe you replace the Jews, well then, 
you know, that time's for us. It's to purify us and make us better and stronger so we can be overcomers and all this other stuff, all this nonsense. So I go off on that all day, but the whole, the whole thing is, do I teach? Let me just set it, the record straight here one last time before we close the video. Do I teach that post-tribbers are lost just because they believe in post-trib? No. Do I believe that Steven Anderson is lost because he's post-trib? No. I believe Steven Anderson is lost because of his attacks on God's chosen people, on the Jewish people. So, let's just get that thing straight. And don't go around lying about me and saying that I teach that post-tribbers are lost. I don't. Okay? So, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching.